Thank you. We're taking action for you with a traffic alert affecting thousands of drivers. A drastic difference playing out just within the last few hours to get the Kennedy Bridge back open after a rig barreled into it. Our Edward Lawrence is there with the latest on who's responsible and what drivers can expect in the morning. Edward? Yeah, the mood of the drivers right now is a little sum of relief. I was actually the first person to drive across this bridge. Just take a look. Even at this hour, it's actually fairly well-traveled. Still, there are a lot of unanswered questions, like who the Coast Guard will officially blame and how much the cleanup will cost. Sights and sounds that bring smiles to drivers' faces. I'm very excited to be able to get to and from where I need to go without having a detour. The way Bankston needs the Kennedy Boulevard Bridge to go home. Like a 30-minute hassle, <laughs> an extra 30 minutes to get home to my kids. Oh, so this is better? <laughs> a lot better. Once crews removed the drill rig from the bridge and the tugboat from the water, the Florida Department of Transportation took over. Using flashlights, FDOT District 7 bridge engineer Jim Jacobson looked at every inch of the bridge. The alignment, looking for any cracks, any distress, uh, and we did not detect anything. Three times, Jacobson opened and closed the bridge to test it. When it passed, the rest happened quickly. The barge lifted anchor and slipped through the bridge like it should have two days ago. Police moved the street barricades. Has a happy ending, I believe. So does Bankston and other drivers like her, who said a collective, finally. And there are minor scrapes on the bridge where the metal cable was wrapped around that bridge. Nothing that affects the actual mechanism of the bridge. Johnston uh, Brothers Corporation will have to pay for the cleanup. They're the ones building the uh, Riverwalk area, and it was their barge and their instruments or machinery that got hooked there. That drill rig and the tugboat that sank are both at the Port of Tampa being fixed. Reporting live in Tampa, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News.